Well, hello folks off YouTube. My name's Ian and welcome to my channel. Now, uh, well, I'm just about to leave work, head for home. Well, I'm hopefully, I'm having a visitor tonight. Because remember, look up to the night sky. Well, if he comes, that is. But I'm going to be slightly delayed because I've had some scrap delivered. Scrap from Scotland. I know that was a bit of a scrap. Scottish accent, but it, it, it was kind of only over the border anyway, just past, you know, I think getting a green block a bit, somewhere like that. Right, what have we got? Okay, just uh, a bit of a putty bag down. So, first of all, get that for a nice V block. Who wants that? I wonder. Right, what have we got? Well, we've got a couple of fire extinguishers. We've got a mini compressor, we've got a large battery, and we've got a Ned, a Ned off a mill. Whoa, oh, and a letter for me. A Ned off a mill. Let's open this, see what's inside this first. I'll have to be careful in case there's any uh, 20 pound notes in it. Uh, oh, there's a sticker. Is that stick of it? Ah, neatly, neatly. There's a letter, but we'll read the letter when we get home. John's Workshop. Ho oh, ho! Oh, uh, people saying, as I got this stuff off John, and in a forthcoming video, what did John get off me? Uh, anyway, well, I'm going to weigh in tomorrow, so that is going to just uh, just be the icing on the cake it, it's no use to me obviously John's throwing it away and it's no use to him thank you thank you very much John a woman would try that and that's I don't know what does that mean does that mean I have to start doing exercises in the carriage up and down up and down I do enough up and down in the carriage I'm telling you right Let's get car loaded and uh, I'll see you back at the shed. Well, I've made it back home and uh, before I get chance to empty the back of the skip, uh, I'll just read uh, this little letter from John. John's workshop. And I like this bit. Hi, Ian. Well, that's how we say her name up north, Eon. He says, Thanks for the back ends and the stock. I sent him a few off cuts. You saw a couple of videos back, I picked up some stuff and uh, I mentioned John. I said, I might have a way of getting this up to Scotland soon. And it did, came about. So he says, uh, They'll come in very useful for future projects in the workshop. He says, hopefully you can make use of the uh, bits and bobs that have come back, even if it is sticking them on marketplace and get a return on the steps. Oh, and the compressor, can regards, John. Well, the steps I'm likely to use myself. Uh, you know, I've got a sedentary job. Uh, might just come in and I can be stood at my bench and doing steps at the same time I'm stripping wire. The compressor... I might keep that, that's an handy little thing for instead of firing the big compressor up and, and doing things. So, thank you very much, John. Anyway, and a couple of stickers to boot. Now, then, I was uh, on the phone to John today and I was teasing him a little. So if there's anything I, I want, you know, just ask, he might have a. He might have a duplicate or two and let me have it. So I said, well, I, to be honest, I could do with a large vernier. He says, I've got a large vernier. He says, I've got two. I'll let you have one. And I said, well, watch tonight's vid first, because today I have actually picked up a large vernier. So we'll just uh, we'll empty the car, have a little more look at what we've got. And... Uh, and neighbours saying, is it, 
never seen, is it? That guy's it Kerr talking to himself again. So uh, let's get the car unloaded first. Oh my goodness. Well, it'll probably take me a short while to empty the car. Uh, I've, come right, I've come in, I've come right corner. My, 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 my beloved has said, oh, that guy's been round and dropped me some more stuff off. Well, thank you very much, that guy. Oh, here you go. Here you go, electrical stuff. Cable, wire. Oh, we got a little bit, got a cup. Ah. Oh, it's Mrs. Cranky. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. I open my mouth and shit comes out. <laughs> I'll show this to Mrs. Well, she says, that's not going in the kitchen, so uh, anybody wants a, a mug? Let's crack on. Well, gradually it's all coming out. Of course, we'll have to put it behind the bins, but we are going to the old anvil yard tomorrow. Uh, so we've, what we've got left is this big V-block, which uh, was looking a bit untidy. So I took it to work because we have a big belt linisher and that's cleaned it up nice. I cleaned my own up as well. Uh, I don't know what it is now. It's going off right at 8 p.m. in the evening. Oh, I don't need to say 8 p.m. in the evening. It's 8 p.m. Night scrapper didn't turn up. So it's, it's here for your night scrapper when you come for it. And a few other things, by the way. So all we've got left is this mill head from uh, John's workshop. Now you always keep a magnet in here. Got a quick scan what we've got. Got some sort of gearing something or other. Put that down there. Yeah, there's not much to it. This is a big gas block with lots of nothing in it. But there is this burring holder. And anything that's nice shiny steel, I always test with a magnet and it's either aluminium or it's stainless steel. But either way, it's coming out. Oh, I just banged my head. And for that matter, just bang my head on there. We will. See, oh, you can tell I've already loosened up, can't you? Cheating for YouTube. Cheating. Cheating. You uh, faithful watchers. I'll come back when I've got to the thing. Wear that last one out. That just left that. Oh, I came off easily enough. So it's burring. Inside. It dinged, but I'm gonna say it's possibly uh, aluminium. We'll shall see. Take it inside, just touch it with a grinder. See if we get sparks or not. Right. There's nothing else in there, is there really? Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, that's a bit 50 kilograms, this. Right. And one never knows about a metal uh, ruler, should I say. So, we'll keep that because you never know. Might come in handy. Carry on emptying the car. Shall we that off? That looks interesting. Three screws out of that and... You stick your ball end in. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you never know. Might come in for the robot. We shall see. I'm intrigued at that now. I need to know how big that is. 
Right, so finally we get down to this gear wheel and oh that's fell out. So oh that is that's light. It's, 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 it's iron or steel, if you want to be precise, but it's light. That could definitely come in handy for me robot challenge. Wonder what diameter it is. Oh, if I had a large vernier, I could measure that. As it happens, I picked up a large vernier today. I picked up two large verniers today. <laughs> There's one. That's. That should be big enough to measure that, shouldn't it? Hmm. Suppose it's not big enough. Well, I might as well. Oh, yeah, mate, I've used this one then. How nearly a front of car, we're nearly in front of seat. Ah. Ooh, look at this one. This one's got gold, 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 goldy bits on. Gold, scrapping Irish, gold. So, uh, it needs a new battery. I have tried it. So, I think we can measure that. There we go. It's, it's yeah big. Just the size I wanted. Actually, the same length what am I gonna do with them don't know right <laughs> what happens next we try that yeah just as I put this one down this actually says bitty toy on this one says silverback don't know uh, let's have a drink no it's not some kind of exotic fruit cider or fruit ale it's actually cordial i'm off the pop for a bit uh, i've got to be honest end of next month uh, i'm going for a, a, a measurement for a suit for my son's wedding and as my son said he don't want a fat dad at his wedding so we're going to have to make sacrifices I'll get used to it. Look, you know, couldn't find my extension lead, so well, I, we've plugged it in there. And on my knees. Uh, nice gauge. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just check there's no reset switch on. Usually it's buzzing like that. It's usually the capacitor. Mm, no, no. So, what we probably need to do is a bit of investigating. It's a bit of a matter of uh, Bypassing that, go direct to the motor to see whether it's that or that, and check and, and, and test the cap. But not tonight. I've got lots of things to do, lots of things to put away yet. So I've got to get my steps in. <sighs> Well, according to the clock, it's quarter past nine. It's quite a pleasant evening. Moon waxing lyrical. Uh, we've been, oh, that much stripping. That one's going up to the, oh, 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 oh dear. That one's going up to the stripping part of the shed. Still an obstacle course. 
Right, here we go. That one, that one was doing. I took, look at that block. Whoa! I took it to work and uh, put it on the, put it on the linisher. You can see I've had it had some scrapping in its time. And the one that uh, I got for. Night scrapper. I've just been using that. Okay. Oh, it's, a, it's a shame to hit it. However, uh, I think we need to christen in it. Christen it. Let's christen it. And take something like that. And take something like that. And I hereby christen this block. Barely a scratch. So I am not flattening all them. Tomorrow I'm going to the Old Anvil Yard. Uh, I'm going to do an iron run and a cast aluminium. So I made sure I'm stripping everything. These go in as cast aluminium. So I made sure I stripped all my cast. Is it there? And uh, tomorrow's another day. So I'll bid you a lot good night. Uh, a big thank you for John's workshop, for the uh, scrap from Scotland. <sighs> thank you for the other gentleman who brought me the wire and the cup, which gave me a laugh. Uh, well, you got to laugh, haven't you, these days? Uh, Ian, I'll bid you a lot of good night and see you over the weekend. Take care now.